This is Twit. Uh, the guys at WordFence have uncovered another very critical, this one's a CVSS of 8.3 flaw in a WordPress add-on named WP HTML Mail. WP HTML Mail is an email template designer used for designing custom email. Unfortunately, its use is currently exposing more than 20,000 WordPress sites that use it to malicious code injection, phishing scams, and more. The root of the problem is a faulty configuration, well, which is putting it kindly, in the REST API uh, routes used to update the template and change settings. <laughs> there is, I say it's putting it kindly because there is no authentication at all required to access the REST API endpoint. Consequently, any user, I mean like anyone on the internet, has access to execute the REST API endpoint to save or retrieve an email's theme settings. This would allow the injection of malicious JavaScript into the, into the mail template that would, ex, that would execute any time a site admin accessed the, the HTML mail editor. Okay, so threat actors could add new users with admin credentials, inject backdoors, implement site redirects, and use legitimate site templates to send phishing emails among many other things, basically a complete site takeover. WordFence said that, quote, combined with the fact that the vulnerability can be exploited by attackers with no privileges on a vulnerable site, this means that there is a high chance that unauthenticated attackers could gain, <laughs> yeah, high chance, could gain administrative user access on sites running the vulnerable version of the plugin when successfully exploited. As I said, the plugin is installed on more than 20,000 sites and is compatible with other plugins run by WordPress sites with large followings, like the e commerce platform WooCommerce, online form builder Ninja Forms, and community builder plugin BuddyPress. WordFence noted in their disclosure. We recommend that WordPress site owners immediately verify that their site has been updated to the latest patched version available, which is version 3.1 at the time of this publication. And for what it's worth, uh, uh, this latest disclosure comes just a week after the firm known as Risk-Based Security published their findings that the number of WordPress plugin vulnerabilities exploded by triple digits in 2021. And, you know, all of our listeners know it's a, I, I, it's a constant topic here just because this is such a problem. And as we mentioned just last week, remember, three different WordPress plugins, all written by the same author, were reported with the same bug, exposing 84,000 sites running e-commerce add-ons to full site takeovers. So is anyone here noticing a worrisome trend with WordPress? I'm certain that the developers of these plugins have the best of intentions. But as we're going to see in detail at the end of today's podcast, writing secure code is surprisingly difficult. Now, I don't excuse somebody who doesn't even add authentication to the REST API used for configuring his plugin and the templates that it uses. That's inexcusable. I mean, that's just... So, like no security whatsoever. Um, and, and the problem is most developers stop their work the moment their code starts to work. But that often means that the security of that code as a vital aspect of it is barely if ever considered. Okay, so on top of all that, we had a supply chain attack on a popular WordPress add-on provider. You know, it's bad enough when, when plugin authors who are untrained in security coding make mistakes. That's not good. But when deliberately malicious actors 
are able to get their malicious code into widespread and popular add-ons, things get much worse. In this case, threat actors were able to compromise 40 themes and 53 plugins, all belonging to Access Press, a developer of very popular WordPress add-ons, which are used by over, <laughs> sit down, 360,000 active WordPress sites. There's like 800 and some thousand, so uh, no, more than that. But this is more than a third of all WordPress sites used themes and plugins from Access Press. So yeah, the guys at Jetpack, who are professional WordPress developers, explained their discovery. They said, while investigating a compromised site, we discovered some malicious code in a theme by Access Press Themes, a vendor with a large number of popular themes and plugins. Upon further investigation, we found that all the themes and most plugins from the vendor contained this suspicious code, but only if downloaded from their website. The same extensions were fine if downloaded or installed directly from the wordpress.org directory, meaning that they'd not been contaminated by this supply chain attack. Due to the way the extensions were compromised, they wrote, we suspected an external attacker had breached the website of Access Press in an attempt to use their extensions to infect further sites. We contacted the vendor immediately but at first, we did not receive a response. After escalating it to the WordPress.org plugin team, our suspicions were confirmed. Access Press websites were breached in the first half of September 2021, and every one of their extensions available for download on their site was injected with a backdoor. Once we had established a channel for communicating with the vendor, we shared our detailed findings with them. They immediately removed the offending extensions from their website. Most of the plugins have been updated, they concluded. Um, so anyway, I won't take up any more of our time on this uh, specifically, but I think that our constant, you know, extinction level event reports about WordPress uh, ought to give us some pause I just Does want to WordPress? emphasize they're not about WordPress. They're about WordPress plugins. WordPress base that, code has always been secure. Yes, that, that's exactly true. Uh, I think it's becoming clear uh, that WordPress with its add-on ecosystem made a lot more sense when it was initially released 19 years ago back in 2003 than it does today. And I agree with you, Leo. There's no problem at all with WordPress itself. So just one be thing careful people, about what extensions you use, I guess. I mean, you know, it, the thing is, exactly. it, it is totally dominant. Half a billion sites run yes. WordPress. I mean, it's the number, by far number one. I think it's almost half of the web. So yes. uh, it, it is a... It, it makes it a target actually, for it's, sure. It's 39.5% of all internet websites. Yeah. That, so like 40% of the internet. And as a CMS, you know, a content management system, 62% of all CMS is WordPress. And, and the number two uh, in a like a distant uh, third is Shopify with 3.2%. So, so I completely agree with you, Leo. WordPress itself, the core is solid. Those guys are professional developers. The problem, though, is that there's there's this, I mean, they... It's too easy, maybe, to make an add-on. Maybe that's the problem. <laughs> that and, you know, because because I was running WordPress for a while. Yeah. I, I had a blog there. And what annoyed me was WordPress lacked really useful and important features. Right. And they know it. They don't add features to their core product because they believe, and, and I think this is historically true, but not safe today, that, they, I mean, they're trying to encourage an add-on ecosystem. The problem is it's just PHP and anybody can create an add-on. It's add just too easy, yeah. Yes, and we know that security is really hard. Yeah. And so basically what we end up with is this just this constant problem. I mean, the word fence guys who are have made the, you know, who have 
staked out WordPress security, they're busy because they're, you know, everywhere they look, there's like this catastrophic, you know, tens of thousands of sites vulnerable to some add-on that they're like, oh, look, how cool. Let's, you know, they're all free. And, and but, you know, they're, they're a security catastrophe. Yeah. They have, I, and I wonder how much they vet the uh, plugins. I mean, you can get them from officially from, Word, as you pointed out, WordPress.org. Yep. Uh, and I wonder how much security uh, they they do there. I mean, clearly they have no control over what an, you know any any third party can. Posts. Yeah, 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 yeah. 